In a previous video you saw me struggling to demonstrate how easy it is to make nice crimps like this with this great tool from HiCat, this hydraulic crimping tool. Uh, I love it. It comes with all of these uh, different size dies, different size lugs. Um, the problem was when I was trying to show you I was uh, struggling so I made this jig that uh, is so easy uh, to put together and um, nicely clamps all this together and allows um, me to do a nice jig on here without anything moving and rocking around and it's so easy to put together and I want to show you how I build it so stay with me and uh, hopefully you'll think it's a great idea too Okay, so I went over to Ace Hardware Store, um, picked up a couple of these clamps here, um, $3 each. I think this will be a good start. So I've got a, an old piece of scrap board here, um, and I cut myself a, a length of uh, one and a quarter inch PVC pipe that I had laying around. And I think we can probably make something with this to make this a little bit more user-friendly. So let's take a look at this. Let's see. Um, probably need to pick an end cup up. That will make this a little bit more stable. But I think to start is we'll put this on here. So let's see. How about if we... Put this here and another one here and clamp that down and see how that works. Okay, you don't need to be bored while I'm drilling holes and things. So let's make a start on this and I'll get this tucked in and we'll take another look. Okay, so the plan is to use this nipple into here to give this some stability at the rear and it's just a little little too big so I'm just gonna kiss this on here and Okay, that should do it. Okay, so removed from here, I'm going to pop it in here. Let's see here. Let's just snug this down a little bit. And Put this in here. And there we go. All right. So that's the back end done. That's pretty stable, but I want to have something at the front here to hold this a little bit. So Let's see if I can figure something else out for that end before I start gluing this up or clamping this down or setting it up neatly. Um, okay, see what I can figure out. I've had a few people ask me uh, about my sander bench that I made. Um, it's really simple. It's my old Delta uh, belt sander and uh, uh, rotation sander here on the side. and. I've used this for a lot of years but this year because of COVID I had some time and I decided to make a little bench that would set up on and stop shifting around everywhere so um, this is really easy for me to use for uh, sanding any little items or things on the belt uh, but it also gives me the ability 
to um, switch this around and lock it into place and and use this this uh, sander here um, it's been a really useful tool for me for a lot of years but now it's even more useful um, I built a little uh, drawer underneath uh, gives me the uh, uh, place to put belts and sanding discs and it's uh, just very very useful um, if any of you want to see how it was made or have any uh, questions put something in the comments uh, section and I'll be happy to uh, go through the, uh, the build process on this and uh, how it works but it's pretty simple and very functional which is the only thing I really care about so let me know okay so I have the back pretty much how I want it nice and snug in there I just need to find a way of clamping the front so it doesn't rock from side to side when I'm uh, pumping the handle but it's got to be open so that I can get make sure the lug is straight um, and when I put and to be able to put the wire in so I could use something coming in here so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a piece of wood in and have a couple of slots here slide it forward a couple of uh, thumbnail or uh, thumb uh, screws on here to hold it down um, so I'm just going to use this uh, as my guide and we'll cut a hole um, and slide that in and see how that works that might work yeah let's just give that a try okay so that's about as far as I want to come in so let's just put a line here and along there all right we're going to use this piece of wood here so let's take a look yeah something something like that should work doesn't have to be exact all right okay let's see uh, let's uh, this one should work yep that looks pretty good no, that wasn't even close all right so let's put a hole in here and we'll drill a hole in here get that trimmed out cut that off um, I'm gonna go to uh, the drill press do this okay so we have uh, the hole in there now um, that should work and I'm just gonna cut this off uh, and we'll just trim up these edges here so this piece can slide straight into there okay let's do that next you know I, I doubt that anybody really uh, wants to watch me uh, cut this off on my Midas or um, but I thought I'd show you this um, another one of those uh, COVID-19 uh, projects um, it, all it is is a uh, jigsaw that I purchased off of Amazon an inexpensive jigsaw and I built this uh, so that I could uh, use the jigsaw uh, either take it out of here I have another jigsaw which is a, a battery one so I probably just going to leave this in here and um, it gives me the opportunity of um, having a nice solid base to work on uh, I don't have a bandsaw I don't have room for it so this is uh, a poor man's uh, bandsaw as far as I'm concerned Okay, let's just trim that up and see if it fits around the uh, 
front of the hydraulic press. Okay. See if this does the job. All right, I think that's going to help. I maybe uh, took a little too much off of that, but I think that's going to work. Let's put some slots in here and see if I can uh, make that uh, easy to uh, slide backwards and forwards and still get this in and out. We'll give it a try, see how it goes. Alright, so I just uh, cut a couple of slots in the piece of wood on my router, just kissed the edges on the router as well, smoothed it out a little bit, and drilled a couple of holes in the top plate. I added a bottom plate because uh, these uh, bolts come through the bottom, and I also wanted to have an area where I can add a couple of clamps on here uh, to clamp this down when I'm pumping away here doing multiple uh, jobs. So what I thought I'd do is put a couple of um, metric threaded inserts in here um, that will take these metric bolts that I have. So let's uh, pop these in. Okay, they're not going to take a huge load, so I think that's going to work perfectly. These little furniture inserts, I've used them in so many of my projects, they're really useful. Okay, and I'm just going to pop these on. Okay, as you can see, this will slide backwards and forwards nicely. And so let's see if this works. So let's take this out of here. And I decide to use my trusty hydraulic crimping tool. I'm going to pop it in here. If I'm having a problem seeing it, I, what I decided to do was take this so that I can actually pop this in and then add this afterwards, uh, which hopefully is going to make it a little easier to pop that in. And then here we go. Let's screw this down so they're nice and tight. And, let's see, is it going to be nice and solid? Let's give it a try. Okay, so let's give this a try. Um, the whole idea of uh, building this was because this was wobbling around all over the place when I was trying to demonstrate it in an earlier video. Um, and I was not doing a very good job. so. Let's see whether or not this improvement here is going to make a difference. It, uh, I don't know, probably probably cost me ten bucks, maybe. I don't know. With the parts to make this, um, wasn't uh, wasn't very expensive anyway, and it's a nice little project. So, look at that. Nice Temco wire. I really like this wire. I like these ferrules. They're from, uh, from the uh, lugs. They're from uh, cell term. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to pop this in here. 
and we're going to bring this drawers down. I'm using the uh, 25 uh, size uh, die here and we're going to just snug this down to there. Okay, cable is going to be going in here. It sits nice and easy now to pop that in. And we're going to pump this down to there, release the pressure, and look at that. Beautiful. Really nice, tight, and that was so easy to do without it moving around and struggling. I would say that this is a success. I've enjoyed making it and um, as you can see it's really really simple this piece here was just um, an, uh, an a piece that goes into uh, a, uh, a connector uh, piece. this is the one and a quarter inch pipe uh, this is the connector that goes on it this slides in we did the cleanup of a nipple here so that it fits and now I can slide this in very easily. I'm not going to bother to glue it because I think that's a great way of bringing it in. I can now undo this and pull this out and when I'm not using it it's going to go back in its nice handy case. So hopefully this was a successful video and gives you a little idea of a bright spark idea of something you might want to make yourself. Please put your comments uh, in the uh, in the section comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. You've probably got some better ideas than I have. That's the whole idea of this channel is to come up with uh, good bright ideas. So uh, let me know if you think there's a better way of doing this. I'd love to hear from you.